Don't look at us as singers. Don't look at us as a choir. But you let Jesus Christ, you see Jesus Christ, and that's our prayer that you see Jesus Christ through us tonight. Let's open up with a word of prayer, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. God, we thank you for your many blessings. And God, we thank you for each and every one that's come out, Lord, this evening, God, to listen to the choir's Christmas cantata. And Lord, I pray, Lord, right now, Lord, that your spirit would just move in this place, God. Lord, we can't sing, God, without your presence. Lord, we can't do anything without your presence. And God, we just welcome you in this place, God, here tonight. And Lord, I pray, Lord, for our choir, for their sound men, God, for the lights. God, that you would just um, direct, God, all all our thoughts, God. Lord, that you would just help us to do what we do, God, to the best of our ability. Lord, I pray, God, for... One here that may not know you, God, in the free pardon of sin. God, that has not accepted you as their personal Savior, God. I pray that they would see Jesus, God, through song tonight. And that they would that they would accept you, God. The best Christmas gift of all, God, to us would be someone accepting Jesus Christ as their personal Savior here tonight. Lord, I pray that you would just encourage the hearts of the saints here tonight. Lord, we love you and we thank you. For all that you've done, Lord, thank you for another Christmas season, God, where we can celebrate, God, the birth of our Savior. And Lord, I pray, God, that you'll just go with us now. Lord, bless this choir. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
It's here again, the time of year that brings a thrill of expectation to the hearts of children and adults alike. A season that is rich and overflowing with memories and anticipation. The slow build up to the holiday is all around us now. On the radio, TV, and in stores, those favorite songs that we've loved for so long because of how they draw our hearts back to the one who is at the center of the celebration.
in this season, everywhere we turn, it seems we find reminders of peace on earth and goodwill to men. And yet not everyone is caught up in the celebration. I remember the first Christmas after my father passed away. It felt like a party was going on around me everywhere I went. But I just didn't feel like joining in. So much celebration, and yet it was passing me by. Last year when December rolled around, the rumors were in full swing around our office of our company being sold. After all the days and years that I had put in there, was it possible that they would just let me go? Everywhere in town I went, there were songs and decorations and happy people, and it all seemed to be just mocking me.
Mary and Joseph, an ordinary couple living in an ordinary town, going about ordinary day-to-day -day work. They, like all of us, were filled with longings and expectation for what was ahead. They had a wedding coming up soon, so many preparations, and yet in the midst of it all, in an unexpected moment, an angel appeared to Mary and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. The angel appeared also to Joseph in a dream, and said, Fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins.
It was a crisis moment for two hearts of faith. Could it really be true? A child soon to be born to a virgin and her godly faithful husband? How could such a thing happen? Here, they were torn between their dreams, their hopes, their pictures of how they thought life would be. And this new, different, absurd picture that God seemed to be painting. My nights were full of dreams Bright futures up ahead Now it's fading so it seems Lord, if this is what you've chosen I will follow I am open to do They aren't making sense Can't see around the corner To what is coming next Thoughts too high for me to fathom Mary and Joseph set aside the good things they longed for for their lives in order to open their hands and accept the better things that God had for them. The one who had formed their hearts knew their deepest desire and was truly for more of him. And that's what he gave them. So when it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David which is called Bethlehem to be taxed with Mary his espoused wife being great with child and so it was that while they were there the days were accomplished that she should be delivered and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger
Not only were Mary and Joseph given the unthinkable opportunity of looking upon the face of God, but also shepherds and later wise men from the east came to worship and bow down before heaven's king. They marveled at the divine privilege they had been granted. Along with all the faithful children of Israel, they had been crying out for a Messiah, and now they knew that God had heard and answered. For centuries the faithful have longed for heaven's promised one. And now at last the answer arrives, our deliverer has come. All our hopes and expectations finally turn to celebration. So we all come to the manger and stand alongside Mary, Joseph, the wise men and shepherds, 
we bring our joys, our hopes, our lives, our failures, our needs, and our longings. And we find here in an unexpected place that our God has heard us, He knows us, and most of all, He loves us. He has met our deepest longings within with the perfect answer. A Savior who is not only everything we want, but everything we need. He is here. 
He is with us now. A savior from our sin. A deliverer from our bondage. A shelter from our shame. Our hope of heaven. This is our season to rejoice. Unto us, a savior has been born. Our God in heaven has met our deepest longing and his answer, Jesus, only Jesus.
Well, that's why we're here tonight. One name above all other names. And one day the Bible tells us that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And tonight, maybe you don't know Jesus. Maybe every Christmas it comes around and, and your attention is focused on all the other things that come along, the commercialized Christmas, but you've missed the Christ. And friend, if you miss Christ, you've missed it all. I couldn't help but think and about in the presentation when Brother Eric said, and Mary wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. And I don't know about you tonight, but I'm so glad that he was unwrapped. The greatest gift that you'll ever, ever find was not under the tree, but hung on the tree. And that gift is salvation. And how sweet it is. Matter of fact, earlier today at Murphy High School, I preached at Murphy High School today, and three high school students gave their heart to Jesus. Amen. To God be the glory in the name of Jesus. And, and tonight, I, I don't know where you stand. I, I know some of you. And a lot of times I've been, I've been uh, for lack of a better word, confused or maybe fooled because that person came forward a different time and said, you know, I thought I knew him, but I don't. And tonight, if you don't know this God called Jesus, I want to tell you, he came to save his people from their sins. And we were all made in the image of God. And if you're unsaved tonight, he desires to save you. And as we bow our heads for just a moment, if there's a man, a woman, a boy, or a girl here tonight, maybe even in the choir or on the stage that does not know Jesus as Lord, Master, and Savior, we want to give you that opportunity tonight to come know Him. Is there one anywhere? Is there one? According to your testimony, all, all of you know him. Let's stand together all over the building as we pray. Kind Jesus, we celebrate this season. And we praise you during this season for who you are and what you've done. And God, what you're going to do. God, we pray for those that came out tonight. God, I pray, Jesus, for this choir and, Lord, for Sister Leslie as she directs it. God, now for all the families represented here tonight, God, may they grasp the real reason of Christmas as never before. And God, we'll glorify your Son and we'll lift up your Son. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the sweet, sweet Holy Ghost. And all God's people said, let's close with this song. Silent night, holy night. All is How about a round of applause for director Leslie Hughes and the First Free World Baptist Church Choir. 
and also all the kids. How about an applause for them? A wonderful job. God bless you for coming out tonight. Now, on Sunday morning, we'll be uh, holding this same service again, but I will be bringing a message for the people, and I hope that God will encourage you to tell someone about this and send them out, and that will be at 11 o'clock on Sunday morning, and we appreciate all of our visitors being here tonight. If you don't have a place that you call home, we'll treat you so many ways you'll have to like one of them. We promise you that. I do have one quick announcement I'd like to make before we uh, close. Andrew, could you bring that card up for me? I appreciate it. Um, Leslie, come on out here. She's hid behind the manger all night, and um, she, she'll probably get me for this later. Um, Leslie has been a tremendous blessing to our church, her, her and her family have, and they've been coming over here for quite some time, and she puts in a lot of hard work for our choir, and uh, some of the things, some of the stuff she does people don't even know about. A lot of it, she uses her own personal money to buy choir books and, and music and, and things. She's saying Lucas under her voice right now. Um, people don't know that, but God knows it, and um, there's going to be a tremendous reward for Leslie in, in heaven because of her faithfulness and her dedication um, to our church, and um, at a time when we didn't have a choir and, and we um, was in need of one, God sent her and her family our way, and we're just so grateful for that, and um, the choir has a little uh, special something that we would like to give her um, because she's been so good to us. Um, we want to give her a little treat to serenity in the mountains. Um, <laughs> you see that grin now. Um, we just want to thank you, Leslie, for, for working real hard uh, for us and for all the time that you've put into it. And here's you a gift certificate. And um, I know you'll enjoy that, and Jason will probably enjoy your time out of the house. So, <laughs> anyway, we just want to say thank you for all that you've done for us. And now some words from Leslie. Well, thank y'all. Y'all do the work, and I really appreciate the choir's dedication and, and their hard work. I mean, it does put in a lot of hours to, to learn their songs, and they listen a lot on their own, and, and they really did a great job, and I could not be prouder. I love all of y'all. The soloists did great, and the kids, and I really appreciate it. Amen. So we're looking forward to Sunday morning, Sunday school at Kent 10, and then following Sunday school, Sister Leslie will we'll meet afterwards and talk to the choir about what time to be in the Family Life Center. And also, remember, Sunday evening service at 6 o'clock. Now, on Christmas Eve will be Wednesday, and we'll be holding a special service at 7 p.m. So if you don't have anywhere to go, we'd love to have you on Christmas Eve at 7 o'clock. We do something special around here. We, we practice what we sing about. And those songs were talking about praising the Lord, weren't they? We just lift up our hands and say praise the Lord three times. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. May God bless you and good night.